Hi. Do you know if there's a sports director around here at all? Sports director? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's basically out the market. So know? just out this way. No, it's first time here. So this way and then turn right. right. You come here, turn right, uh -huh. and then there's like a little side bit. Side bit. Like a, is it outdoors? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for your help. Have a good day, yeah? Yeah, the sports direct. It's in the market Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Oh, you just come from there, yeah? No, I'm going to back at Dunkies. Oh, okay, okay. On the right. Then you go to the olive and turn left. Right. on the stretch. I appreciate that, man. Definitely. Have a good day, yeah? Right, guys. So, video number two in Romford. <laughs> I don't know why I keep laughing every time I say that, man. I swear, Romford is like, I don't even feel like I'm in London anymore, man. I feel like I'm up in, I don't know, I feel like I'm up in like Cheshire or something. It doesn't look like London anymore, but it doesn't even feel like it. But do you know what? I like that. It's different. It's different. London can be a bit, uh, mate, London be a, can be a bit crazy, but I'm sure the locals around here will probably say the same thing. So I'm literally looking for Sports Direct. And the reason why I'm looking at that is because, one, I've actually gone and bought some shares in Sports Direct. So if you're wondering why I'm not coming out here spending all my money, it's because I'm loading up on shares for the future, mate. You know, when you get a little one, your priorities change. You don't want to be gathering tons of designer pieces all the time. You're thinking, do you know what? Rather than me investing in clothing, let me go and invest Invest in the uh, in that stock market or business or you know whatever it is you want to do. So for me, that's more where my um, time and attention is spent. Which doesn't mean I don't love clothing. If I can find a good deal, then I'll grab a good deal. But you know, I've got tons of clothes already, so I don't really need to do that. So uh, basically, want to head down there, check out the store see what he's saying you know i've been to a few stores spoken to the managers because i want to find out you know is it, is it busy are people shopping a lot you know they're, they're doing a lot of changes and i personally think and this is not financial advice guys so don't go and start loading up on anything because i've done it do your own research do your own research i could be absolutely wrong and you can lose money okay i'm not an expert okay but i've read the annual report i've read the financials i've read their future plans they've been doing great over the past couple of years so I'm just thinking, boy, do you know what? I'm looking to back, back them and bank on them doing even better. It's not to say that I like Fraser Group like that, you know, but what I would say is business-wise, yeah, they can be a bit rueful, but mate, they, they know how to make money, man. And they're, they're, they're totally, totally buying up the market at the moment. So one of the things that I wanted to check out is the Sports Direct, because I heard there's a USC in here and they've got the CP company. So I wanted to show you the CP company. And I just wanted to come and check out the store and see what that's saying, okay? So look, we're here now. So let's go inside. Hello, mate. Hello. How's it going? Do you have a USC in here? Yeah, this is a USC. Oh, so you got the CP company stuff? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, nice one. Right, look at this CP company. Inside USC, which has been bought out by Fraser Group, and they've put it into the, cleverly put it into the uh, Sports Direct stores. That's crazy. I really like these hoodies. How much are they? 209. 209 for that was 255. Don't know how you guys feel about it being in here, but um, you know, that's the way it is. That's quite nice. How much is that? These shorts are nice. Like those. How much are they? 139. Mm, I might have bagged it if it was like 75 maybe. But not 139. So look at that, There's lots of CP company in here. Um, they've obviously tried to keep it separate, so USC and CP Company is... USC and Sports Direct are obviously separated, even though it is under the same store. I know it's very confusing, but it's just the way they've done it. So if we go to the back, you're going to have your normal Sports Direct and the trainers, which is all this bit. And for the middle of the day, it's quite busy. And I just think with the, with the economic downturn, people will start, certain people will start looking to trade down on brands. So I can just see Sports Direct being a, a company that might do well during these times, funny enough. Hence the investment in shares. The only thing I would say is the way they pack it up in here, man, they pack it up too tight. There's too much items out, man. It makes it look like it's not a desirable brand. Um, obviously here, it look, looks like someone's been nicking, looks like someone's been nicking the badges. So yeah, I was just putting less stock on the floor so it doesn't look like it's, you know, it's meant to be a premium brand, but it's looking like it's uh, not a premium brand. So that's, that's not a good, that's not a good look in my opinion. So anything I'd say, it needs to look a lot more premium, man. It's just sitting there like it's Nike and Adidas, which is a real shame. Yeah, they pack up the rolls way too much. Look at that, way too much. Stack them high, sell them cheap. 
which is uh, not good for the CP company brand, unfortunately. But hey, hell, what can you do? I think people will be disappointed with that overall. We've even got Uggs in here. I do you like a bit of Uggs? These are nice. Like Uggs. Cheers mate, have a good day. So um, that's it man, it's funny because Sports Direct really seem to strat strategically place their stores in areas which might be considered not. They seem to put them in specific areas but that might not be thriving, let's say. And I, I mean that in the, in the most least. I'm not trying to be disrespectful but you don't find Sports Direct in Chelsea or yes you find them in Oxford Street but you don't really find them in, in these kind of like uh, more upper, upper upper class, upper market type areas. I don't even know what the politically politically correct word is, but you don't you don't know what I mean. So um, yeah, so that's interesting. So yeah, man, that's it, guys. I hope you lot enjoyed the video. Got lots more videos coming. If you guys want to see some specific videos, then yeah, leave some comments in the comments box below, and I will be doing more videos. Yeah, back on it now, guys. So I'll catch you up in a bit.